okay guys okay, today i'm trying to show you how i how i am going to make this environment uh, this this is not in hd quality uh, actually i crop, cropped it from another make as you can see uh, i am trying to recreate this environment okay so if you have any concept art and you have and you want to make similar one just follow me follow my lead okay and so first of all uh, what are the things we have to do okay i will show you first of all uh, obvious answer is we need the props right so we need the tree we need the vegetations uh, then everything else then uh, everything else is easier okay uh, so making these trees are trees and plants are little different a uh, little hard okay okay comparing to this compared to this environment and i will show you how because uh, all of these are very easy to make them okay so uh, so where should we start okay we start from this ground okay now uh, if you are an artist you can draw uh, and you land some uh, some you know building designing or you know you have the good gas on 3d models then what you can do is make uh, open a photoshop then make it of you okay uh, you can even change the change everything about this and make a new one okay so we always need a top view okay top view image is always necessary if you are making uh, a building so since i don't have that uh, I have to take a wild guess. Okay, so uh, I can just make the final product now. So with the trial and error, we can do it. So I'm planning. So we have to make the ground. Okay, so let's see. First of all, I need to uh, remove these subdivisions because it will confuse us. Thinking, okay, let's put the pot here. Let's put the uh, staircase here no just remove it first then we can do everything else so see a blank canvas map so as you can see uh, we need to make this part okay this part might be a wall uh, inner wall or outer wall okay so uh, there is a door maybe a door right here leads to the uh, leads to the exit or Please to the indicator. Okay, whatever. We need to take a wild guess in uh, about this thing. Okay, wild guess. Then I think this much is fine. I'm gonna make it little larger. So a new cube will. Uh, let's see the size of a new cube. Okay, this is bad. So we have to. Okay, just correct the proportions. Okay, don't make too large. If your PC cannot handle big stuff, don't make big, bigger leaf. Okay, or larger. Don't make it large. Just make it small. Okay. Or else your PC gonna cry. Okay. So don't do that. Okay. So okay. Now let's put this wall. Okay. We need to make this wall, right? So let's make it. So we first of all we will do a dummy thing. Okay, dummy wall. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's go. Let's make select the vertex. Do like this. Do like this. So, see as you can see, it's a straight line. Okay. If uh, if this part is if this part is a corner, I don't know. We are not making the same one. Okay. Uh, okay. Our mistakes will make a new design. So don't worry. Let's see. So okay now we get this now we want this this part right so i will show you some easy ways so we're gonna do like this then mirror it okay you're gonna wonder how this is a easy way i will show you how see you get this right easy very easy method so we need to do this positive direction uh, and also we need to we need that to be in here so 
I think negative is fine. Okay, so ah, we can just uh, rotate this. Okay, so we are rotating this uh, mirror plane. Rotate y axis. Okay, so do ro just rotate it. Okay, I don't see anyone tell, uh, talking about this thing in any of the tutorial. Only in mine. So okay. Just do like this. Okay, we need to correct this, right? So let's put ninety in here. So minus ninety. What we will get? We get the straight line. So if we if we, if I put minus one eighty, then what will I get? I get nothing, right? I get this. That's not what I want. So I need I need a value in between that. So ninety plus forty five. So that is minus one thirty five. See, very easy, very easy math. Okay. okay, what I did is just add the forty five degree angle to the existing ninety degree. So I get this. Okay. Okay, now I am going to turn on the X ray mode because I need to know this length. Okay. Take a taking a wild guess and just do this. That's it. See, you get the perfect L shape. Then I'm gonna delete the history. Now I need to I need it to go like this. So if you are just a lazy person, you can do it. You can do the mirror thing again. Just rotate them uh, like this. I think I need to put the plus. Then rotate it like this. Okay, now I get this right. See, you see. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put zero there. Let's see what I get. Okay. Now thirty five. No, not not thirty five. I will put the forty five. See, I got it. Okay, that's all. We are done. Just put it like this, and you are fine. So let's move it like this. See, I can see. Okay, the balance of that image. So this one is fine. Okay, I'm gonna make a cut like this and delete. Okay, so perfect. Yeah. Okay, now mm, let's go here. Okay, I forgot. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna make this basement part. Okay, yeah, it looks a basement. Maybe it has some underground facilities, but I don't. Okay, let's put it like this. Then select these three faces and make it go up like this okay so uh, we have this double staircase right so this one go like this this one go like this so uh, if it was a normal i think it is one floor height so i need to make it larger so i'm gonna go to this uh, right view then make it go up okay so for some uh, unit reference, I'm gonna use the grid. So three, I think six and nine. Okay, if I take nine, uh, half will be four point five, right? So I will make it ten. Okay, ten. Then I'm gonna go to perspective. Okay. Okay, if I uh, okay, it will make some bad proportion so i'm gonna go to this view and again put it in the five okay too much height will uh, mess up the proportions here okay and i don't want that okay now let's okay since we do this one we need this one also right this glass part so i'm gonna press control d Again, Control D, W, then 
move it up like this okay so this one will be in the separate mesh okay i don't want to make this as one piece you can make this as one piece but you know you can always do backups right let's break it up and i'm gonna put them like this one like this then okay you can use any method just move, move down like this okay we are making this height i think this this much here is fine okay so let's extrude it okay this part is fine so i'm gonna extrude it just like this okay now we got it okay uh, too much it's not good so i'm gonna put it like this like this then i'm gonna go to this top view because because of some issues and i will show you how okay i will show you why uh, because it's not in the correct straight line so we need to correct that it happens when we uh, extrude them okay it's a very common uh, issue then do this and this okay now i think everything is fine now now the problem okay most of our problem has in that but okay what is this plan Okay, I forgot. Okay, now let's select this one, this one, this one. Okay. So now we gonna bevel it. Okay. Uh, so what to bevel? I'm gonna turn up the fraction like this. Okay. Just go full, then add the segment, and we get a beautiful round shape. But since uh, I don't like high poly, so I'm gonna do like this. It's much this here is fine. Okay, now I'm just gonna notice that. Uh, okay, now now we got that. Okay, now let's uh, next part will be. Okay, this part. Okay, okay, I think I need to duplicate that. Okay, so let's let's press Control D. Then again, go up, leaving some space because. It needs to go more. Uh, it needs to go up. So let's go to this front view and in object mode, make sure we only select this part. Then go up. Okay. So okay. Then again, perspective. Okay. Now. To make it easier to understand what I'm what I'm trying to make, I'm gonna add a new material. Then uh, it will have this unknown AI standard material. Okay. Uh, to make it easier, I'm gonna make do the uh, do this preset thing. That is glass, uh, but I want the frosted glass, so I'm gonna look for that. Okay, I found it. Then replace. Okay. Okay. Now let's delete this. Okay. Always delete confusing things, so it's better. Just do that. Okay. Okay. That that's better. Okay. Now let's see. Let's. Uh, okay. We did this. We will do this beam. Okay, beam like structure. I will in later, not right now. So we made this one. We made it curvier, curvier. Uh, if this part also need to uh, curve it, this part also need some curvness. Then we can do that. We can do that by just mirror it uh, in this direction. I think also do this object or bounding box. Okay, so this is not the answer, so I'm gonna press Y because Y goes to the upper axis, right? So 
and also the value will be 0 0.01 okay. now okay we are in the uh, wrong angle so we are going to use the positive angle see we got that okay now if this part need to be you know pointed outward then we can make it by just e system okay i will show in easy way first of all make a make this this part okay now i'm gonna make a little bigger one bigger one like this and you are good to go so then select this select this select this okay now for the worst part we need to exclude them and also we need, we need to make sure it is straight up okay that is a bad bad part okay now let's i'm gonna okay this one is in the front view right so let's i'm gonna go this this angle then i'm gonna um, adjust it so this much here is fine okay i'm gonna take the the texas and straighten them up i need to check what this, what this is so press here and yeah these two guys need to stay like this now let's go here see the same problem that is why we need to check it okay now let's go here see we need we found another one so turn on the x-ray mode okay i think i can see that one so to make sure i didn't select the uh, wrong one i need to do like this then again just scale it also this this one will go straight like this now we are done okay since we don't have any extra edges here we don't have to worry about the shapes okay that's why you should start with the uh, less count of polygons okay less count of polygons and a less kind of less number of uh, subdivisions so it will make uh, your life easier okay now uh, i'm gonna go to my previous this one, previous side previous view okay now like this so we made this one okay i'm not gonna add cut and put this shell like this thing okay you can do that using texture so i'm not gonna do that okay uh, when i look like this i don't see any sharp lines here so you can just you know select this and bevel it okay. make it smaller add some segments and you get a curved glass but anyways i'm not going to do that okay okay now we need this part okay. for this part i'm going to use the same thing just too lazy now let's go okay i need to go i don't need to go on to another view because i can see the line here so i'm gonna adjust it like this okay this much this here is fine okay now okay i think i i almost make everything i need okay now now i need is this uh filler like thing okay so okay i'm gonna make it in the most majestic way just kidding so i'm gonna go to this friend view no i think it is the right view yeah this is the right view so let's make a cube here then put it like this just make it bigger i think this this much is fine i'm gonna do this do like this okay now turn on the x-ray mode so the original position will be in here i'm gonna 
Okay, turn on the wireframe also. Okay, now let's put it right there. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, this is supposed to go here like this. Okay, so some extra gap like this. Okay, now I'm gonna back it up a little bit and you will I will show you why. So I'm gonna next thing I want to add is the subdivision. So uh, I'm gonna isolate it and put one in the center. Okay, this and uh, grids are you know confusing me so i'm gonna turn it off then do this i think it is in the 20 percentage okay uh, i hope uh, i i hope my idea works okay i think i need to do i'm trying to do this and also this one has this much width uh, i think it is 30 yeah, I think it is 30. Anyway, uh, mistakes can be corrected, so not a big deal. Now let's select this edge also and then delete this because we don't want that. Okay, now for the uh, work part, we need to be it and also make to make sure that we don't make any triangles, right? So let's keep that keep that in mind and do it so just pivot it i'm going to turn it up to one okay so i get get something like this with uh, this much i think i already got it right this uh, this this here is fine so what will i do with this just delete it okay don't care about it Just delete, delete, and also delete, delete, delete. Okay, so nobody's gonna see that, so just delete it all. See, no issue. You can select these two guys and move it, move it like this. Okay, okay, now uh, we need to go to this right view. Okay, so we need to arrange the uh, walls. Uh, sorry, arrange the pillars. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so okay, this here needs this here needs need a pillar here. So I'm gonna put it like this in the center. So uh, then the next two pillars are for the walls. Okay, uh, no, sorry, the door. So, one here. Okay, the, I need to put a little add for my YouTube channel here. So, this much space is fine. So, I'm gonna press Ctrl D again. See, we made that. Okay, now for this part, we need this much length, right? So, it is wider than the wider than this maybe it's not wider but i think this here this much is fine and so and we have this big black like no bang bar so we need to make that so let's select all these guys combine them then vertex then move it like this okay so i'm gonna move it uh, move it move it this far then go to object mode and select these guys ctrl d then do like this okay i wish i think okay i wish i could you know make a you know this corner here okay so the uh, this building ends here because i don't want to you know continue the all the way or uh, yeah i think i need to continue the okay anyways or, or it, it will become a thickness so let's um, let's go here so we made this wall this wall this wall so the walls are complete 
for this part it is very different because uh, this is this looks like some kind of advertised printing wall but this doesn't look like that okay. it's more like an office space or you know big area for uh, office something like that okay so let's make that okay i'm gonna put it right there so and it now it won't mess up my view okay so let's look at here we don't see any kind of uh, fillers here but i see some kind of like some kind like this but i'm not sure about anything but i'm not sure about that so i'm gonna just make it uh, i'm gonna think it as a wall and make a wall there okay so how i'm going to do that it's very easy uh, okay i'm trying to make some you know easy trying to find some easy ways so for that i need a copy of this one make sure it is in the minus 90 degree okay maybe it is 90 or minus 90 depending on how we model it then okay i don't want this one now delete that and go here and do this okay Okay, now it now it looks good. Now it looks like I wanted. Now let's go. Let's do like this. So equal length. Okay, equal length is very necessary. Now this one goes to here. Okay, see it is closed now, but we don't want to close this yet because we want to make this glass thing right. So just go here and make a cut like this okay it's hard to do it if you are pressing shift so just do this and do this so we get the height uh, not this part so um, so we are going to do that uh, i think how much okay i think this part okay this part uh, i think almost in the half right Okay, I think this much sphere is fine. Okay, I'm gonna add a cut here. So we get what we want. So, okay, so uh, in close examination, we can see this has very rounded. Okay, this is rounded, not in the not like this. So, how we are going to do that? Okay, I think I need to. Okay, easiest way will be to I have a very clever way. I will show you. So I'm gonna select all these and and I'm gonna select the mesh and okay I think it is in the edit mesh so I'm gonna extract it. So the glass and this will become a different different mesh. Okay, so I'm gonna put uh, this one as glass. Okay, I give that uh, give that material to it. Let's delete all the histories and go here and add the name as frosted glass. Okay, now let's go here. So this is what the this is what I'm trying to do. So double click it. Okay, okay, I it doesn't go as I planned. So uh, I need to okay I need to I don't want this one going to go um, this much this way so yes add some breaker okay this will do as a breaker thing so this one and double click it then and select that part okay because I am gonna delete that one so I don't want that then press extrude to inner inner part okay so it goes to inside and do like this okay now i need to go to the top view okay i think i need the top view okay before that i need to save it okay. 
Okay, I think my PC is almost full, so I'm gonna do it like this. So I environment okay spelling is not correct environment two and then yeah let's go here these two guys it it will like this okay so we are almost ready so let's go to this perspective view okay we need to connect them actually we don't don't do that okay it is a waste of time because nobody is gonna see that let's go to this edge and this part then press this to welcome okay so we get something like this then we're gonna press 3 yes we got it right so it's a beautiful no, curved glass so we got we got that we got what we want and yeah So, okay, this one nobody likes this part. Okay, you can uh, spend some time on it and you know uh, make it look better. Maybe do like this. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so four sided. Then Uh, I think you need to make another cut here. So this one looks okay, and also you need to make a cut here. So we are I'm too lazy to do that. I'm gonna leave it like this. Okay. For you for you unwrapping, it doesn't make any problem. I think. Okay. I'm gonna just use the planner mapping. So it's it's easier that way. So only thing we need to make sure is we made it like we wanted so do this do this make it make sure it is in the straight then move like this right so okay this uh, this much is fine and also this one will go like this see we made we made almost uh, everything of this one now we have the words part that is a stair okay so but we will make everything in this video uh, if it goes uh, maybe i will split them into half but i will make sure this in the one video for two video or three video i'll show you fully okay now let's go to uh, friend view, not not the friend view, I view, I think. Okay, this view is what I want. So, like we planned. Okay, I think I need the image plane to be there. So, I'm gonna select this one. Okay, Ref it is refusing to be selected. Refusing. Okay, okay. so press Ctrl D, then do like this. Okay, this one. Then uh, put ninety in the in this. Okay, so so like we discussed discussed earlier. So this one will be an advertisement. This one is door. Again, an advertisement. So I need to make some dummy advertisement there. So for that, I'm gonna put a cube there. That's all. Okay. Uh, also, I'm I'm gonna make uh, you know different color for that. So so in one look, I can see that this uh, advertisement. Okay. So I'm gonna go to the perspective view. Then do like this. Okay. This this here is fine. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm gonna put it like this. Okay. Just do it. Okay, so okay, next thing we need to do is put a new 
brand new material for this AI standard. So I'm gonna do this add add one then put then blue okay, blue thing or cyan color okay now let's go here so first uh, advertisement is here second uh, second one is for the doll right so we need to make another box here and use it as a platform for the uh, stair so in here right we need to make this so let's i don't want to move it it is blocking my view so let's move it down then put it like this okay like this so okay now i need to you know calculate the position uh, so let's go to this right view okay let's zoom it like this so okay so one this pillar to this pillar i think this pillar no i think this pillar have this and we have this you know staircase like this so the size will be like this okay let's select the vertices This move it okay. Let's select the vertexes and move it like this. Okay, so almost done. Right, so uh, and we need to set up this part, right? So the humans can stand there. So so do, in order to do that and we need to calculate the position okay so uh, so i can go little more up okay now i'm gonna put it like this okay if we compare the you know proportion with between this stair and this one i think this one really needs some more height okay so i'm gonna go here and you know separate them first separate them and since everything is okay i selected everything and put the center pivot to it then do this and yeah select the vertices and do like this i think it can go down like this right Okay, this much is really fine. Okay, now we are done. Let's move on to this other part. Okay. Okay, so we only make the ground for this part, so we will just you know extend them. Okay, it's, it's not a big deal. Extend them like this. We can extrude it or move the whole thing. It's up to you. Let's do, do like this. Uh, when we when we model this part we will you know make some another cuts and delete them add some you know levels like this so we will check it that later okay we need to think it as a think it as a real building so the people can stand there you know people can stand there walk like walk there okay it must be bigger okay almost bigger as this part i think yeah almost yeah so i'm gonna put it like there okay now this one has a border like this but we will make that later okay we are not uh, doing that right now we will do that later okay now let's see let's see how we can make the staircase Okay, first of all, uh, okay, I need to find the bottom one. So, 
do like this one do like this okay almost in the almost like this then extrude like this okay okay there, okay, there is a reason why i need this cut and i will tell you why because i need to you know find the middle point so this is the middle point see two levels is already ready so uh, this part will have this one this part will have this this one okay it's going to be very complicated to make this part okay i don't uh, okay i think how much we need to count the scale so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so this one has 15 this one has 3 6 9 12 15 or 18 18 okay i think i'm gonna put 18 in this upper level 15 here so let's do it so that means uh, this one has more height than this so we can do we, we have to do like this okay i'm not sure about this height okay i think i'm gonna move down a little bit little bit, little bit there then do like this okay i just add some height there Again, find the model part, then go down. Okay, a okay, little, little, bit, little bit like that. Okay, now let's go to the uh, mesh tool, then go to this insert loop tools option. There we can find multiple edge, uh, multiple edge loops. So since I uh, I want eighteen of them. I'm gonna put 18 there then okay i'm not gonna close it just click it like that okay okay i forgot one thing i want to do this in a separate way. so i'm gonna press ctrl d isolate it then i will do it okay so the multi cut then sorry insert a loop tool then i'm gonna say 15 okay so 15 and do this okay so this is equally equal sided okay or equal number of them so okay before we finish that i need to select these guys and you know do like this or else i don't know the you know the second level right so i'm gonna do this okay like this okay don't worry about it then i'm gonna make a cut here like this and delete it okay okay now i need to select uh, these unwanted edge loops then delete them okay if you have a better idea and you can follow that then do this okay so first, first one doesn't need that so in the second one i'm gonna do this okay i think it will it will waste my time so I'm gonna do another thing. So I'm gonna go to this right view. Okay, right view is fine. So I think I want my staircase to go this part. Okay, so this part I need to check it with the uh, check it with this one. So it can go up to this pillar, right? So I, I think I can do this. Ok, 
Okay, I think this one started from here, something like that. Then it goes like this. Okay, so okay, first of all, I need to you know separate the. Then I'm gonna isolate the. Then I'm gonna again go to the uh, mesh tool. Where is that? Okay, insert the tool group. Then goes to this 18 again. Okay, this time, okay, maybe 18 and cut it. Okay, so next part will be to delete them. Okay, I hope uh, what I'm, I hope this works. Okay, I'm not 100% sure about it. Just got this idea in my head right now. This is why I always avoid complicated stuff. Okay. okay, maybe there are plugins or you know uh, codes to make easier uh, staircases. So if you have that, just do it. That okay, don't do this, don't waste your time. Okay, if you have time, just then make some more. Don't waste time on this. Okay, uh, right now I'm not having any ideas on no this uh, minimizing the number of edge loops. So I'm gonna go with this and first I'm gonna go to this perfect view. Okay, now we get this part. Okay, so okay, you, okay. I'm not gonna select all uh, these and you know position them. To this inside part okay what i'm going to do is very easy way okay before that i need to make sure okay i don't have to do this yeah i have to do this mm. okay i think okay i will do the first half then you know mirror okay that is that is much easier than this okay so let's go here I don't need to put the uh, some middle line there. So before that, I need to select uh, these. Then again delete. Okay, select uh, select these guys and delete. Okay. Work almost done. Then go here. Go to this right view. Okay. Now let's go to this vertex. And do like this okay after uh, when we combine them we can just you know select all this and uh, do make it like this we can level them later so this is how okay we put this so what we made now is this part okay we only made this much part we need to do this part okay so and uh, how we are going to do that uh, we can we go to this perspective then go and select like this and just go like this okay how much length i'm not sure but i think we'll go this far okay this far is fine Okay. Okay, now we are going to do the exact same thing we did to, we did before. So select all this and select the first one, then go to this top view. Okay, top view is better. And then extrude it like this one. Okay, like this. So you can use your hand. Okay, so Place your hand finger on here and here and take a measure. Okay. Okay. It's easier to do that. Okay. Okay, I think architects are going to be angry with me. Okay, anyways. Okay, do this. 
Okay, now what we are going to do now? Go to this front view. Okay, in front view we can see that. Okay. So this one has to go down. Now let's go to this uh, inside the blue tool, blue tool. Put the value fifteen. Okay, I think I put the fifteen. Okay, anyways, just cut it. Okay. Now the boring part. Just do this. Do this. Okay, I will try to make it do it faster because I'm also too lazy in editing videos. Okay. I may forgot to speed it up. Okay. Now, okay, we are almost done. Then go to this perspective view. So we get this one. Again, I'm gonna yeah delete that. Okay. Delete it like this. Then what is that? Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay. Yes, delete that. Delete that also. So we get this part. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna connect them. Okay. Okay. Select these two and isolate them. So because we need to make sure we remove every parts we we don't want. And also, yeah. I need to select all these. That is not necessary, but uh, but okay for the visual views I think we did that. Okay, let's go to here. Okay, from here to here. Okay, select all this and go like this. Okay, we got the step. Now, okay, this part will be a little complicated. Okay, this part this part is a little complicated. But to make it easier, we are gonna do this extrude like extruding thing like here. Okay, it goes to that bar. Then we are gonna select this one to this one. Okay, it will it will automatically select like this, and you know do this. Okay, so uh, let's go to this right view. Like we planned before, I think I'm gonna do like this. Okay, this. Okay, this much is fine. Okay, then let's go to this perspective view. So we get this, you know, easy stair. Uh, staircase. Okay, it is very easy. Okay, so okay, now the worst part of covering that. Okay, let's see if we, if we can avoid that. Yes, we can avoid that. Yes, as you can see, this part has some, you know, some kind of design, so we are not going to cover it up. Also, if you don't like this part, okay, this part is, you know, uh, making too much uh, faces, then delete that. Okay, and also again do that for this part also because. We don't want the okay, let's delete it. Okay, like this. So for this part also delete that. Okay. We need to do everything to you know minimize the falling out. So this this is what we want. Okay. Uh, after we get what we wanted. I think we can just you now connect them, make it one. Okay, uh, or maybe not. Okay. It's up to you. Okay, now let's do this. Let's do the uh, this angle type thing. So we need to make the design here. Okay, before that uh, we we shouldn't forget about that. So we made this one, combine them, and then. 
or we can just okay i was hoping to make this part okay right now when i uh, when i think about it yeah i think i need to uh no mirror the same thing mirror the same railing the feature also so let's do it at once okay do once yeah that is fine so i'm gonna delete that okay no no i'm not gonna delete that because i need to make this part right so i'm gonna press select these two faces and select like this then delete that so i get these two faces now select these two go to this side view i think i have this side view so put it like this and put it like this but this is not this is not necessary to in a kind of them because it will be covered up like this okay so it's not a big deal now i'm gonna do this yeah this this is easier easiest to make so just do that okay now then okay not don't stop like this let's just go like this then again goes to perspective so as you can see we co covered up the covered up this part okay there is no bending in this in this part okay in this part so we're not gonna make any bend there now let's go here so for this part uh, i think it has some light there okay some some kind of light is there uh, then some extra details but i'm not sure about that so i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna just do this and finish it okay i'm not gonna go in too details okay. so do this okay since we are doing that I, I think we can just go back a little bit like this then do this okay okay now it's fine then do like this okay so we covered up that part okay now let's go to this space extrude it like this okay now we get now we do this part delete it okay then these two edges will bridge it okay just delete it okay okay this one and this one need some bridge okay so one of the point need to be in both this okay i think the problem happened that because of the normal change okay so i'm gonna press select this one and this one then mesh display reverse it okay so it will it will tends to become the ash color like a normal default color so after that do this okay now let's go to this space and you know move, move it like this okay it should stay inside that now select this and you know just do like this okay so uh, this way of making will help you in you know uh, uv unwrapping or uv mapping etc but this uh, this one doesn't make you uh, this is not a better option in modular okay. but you can learn it and make some modification and do it for the modular concept okay it's up to you you have to use your creativity there let's go here let's go to this right view so we got this front view this 
this is side view but this is the front view of this place okay now let's make a cube here put it right there okay i think i'm gonna put this here is fine okay like this and like this okay so i'm gonna make something like this yeah okay this this one this much is fine then let's go here okay so make okay so we get this uh, you know silver silver or from like part here and here also this one it is uh, okay this dark dark thing is reflecting here so this is dark otherwise i think it is a it is also chrome okay this one doesn't like a chrome thing uh, it is almost like a black okay so let's make it so first of all i need to make a cut here one and two then do like this okay then mm, let's see let's go to this perspective view go here and do this okay so uh, we okay i think i'm gonna select these two and go like this then we select these two and also the fraction will be at one and segment will be at uh, three okay i think yeah yeah i think i think i got what i wanted so i'm gonna select these two part these three parts and these three parts also and i'm gonna delete then okay make it easier i will make it easier just select like this shift and select like this we get this unwanted parts okay so i'm gonna press delete and we end up like this okay so if you want to make it curve curvier than this one okay i will show you some tricks so in order to do that i think don't be with it okay just remove the unwanted faces then Okay, first of all, we need, we need to make a cut in the exact center. Then delete this also. You will this part. Then do like this. Okay. Okay. This this, uh, this much is fine. Then gonna do this. See, easier. Thing. Okay. You can do this. Uh, the more you uh, you know move the cone thing uh, the, what I mean by that is this part you move it like this I think I think I it gives more curve arc more more arc okay arc like shape uh, okay so you get the idea okay do this experiment this experiment until you get how you want it okay i think this material is fine for me i think this much is fine because i don't want it to look too much covered up so this much is fine i'm going to be with it and add some add three segments also make sure the fraction is set to one okay i think four four is fine okay four is fine now let's delete all the histories now let's do the rest of the work okay now let's go to this side view okay, side view then gonna do this one do like this okay do like this okay so i'm gonna put it right there okay now it's not the fun part okay so let's do this and double it sorry mirror it i'm gonna set it as 
boundary box or you can set it as object i think it goes right there i think it is not in the way i think it is in the x okay uh, opposite direction where did that go okay uh, right there now let's go to this right view okay we can okay because of this merge threshold we can just move it anywhere anywhere we like but what we want is this one so i think this kind of angle is angle looks good okay so we need to go to this channel box and make sure to check that angle okay so that is 12.3 but i'm gonna put it as 12.5 okay okay 12.5 is fine okay it's a simple value but it's fine okay now we get what we want okay now what we want is it needs to go this direction let's hope i can make that okay right now i'm also having doubts okay now let's how i am going to do this okay uh, first of all we try it using the mirror if we can't do it with, without mirror if we can't do with the mirror then we will find some other way so let's go here bounding box also this one should be in the z direction right so it's a direction okay put it right there and also post view okay, okay like right here then i'm gonna move it like this and okay the problem is i need to go down like this also this one doesn't have to go like this right this is complete chaos okay let's hope i can make it so let's see other rotation values so this one is something like 52 so i'm gonna make it as 60 this one is 33 so i'm gonna put it as 30 okay this one is 29 this one also 30 so what we get what we get is this much so this is not good okay okay now let's see Let's go to this top view first, okay. So the problem, yeah, actually we have a lot of problems. Why this one go like this? That is my question. Okay, I think, okay, okay, not, this, not my problem. So, okay, let's put it like this then move it like this okay then move it like this so what we get so this one goes like 17 okay i think i will give 15 this one will be a 45 this one has 15 okay uh, not good okay so 12.5 12.5 Oh, okay almost good but not good okay what about this guy as 10 this guy as 10 what about 0 no 0 is not good so 5 10 this one 0 no not good 10 12 okay it is almost good so 7.5 this one is also 7.5 let's see 7 
this one seven. Okay. Hmm. Okay. The problem doesn't solve because we need to look in the other angle also. That is this angle here. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna press B. Uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do anything. So let's do this. Okay, see, uh, we can see this angle right here. It is not good. Okay, I think I should stop doing this. Or I will go go mad. Okay. Okay, let's okay. First of all, clear all the history, also save it because I don't want any unwanted errors in the Maya. Uh, then send a pivot it. Okay, just do this, put 90 there. Okay, this is our plan B. Always have a plan B. Okay, okay so I'm gonna put it like this. Okay, now. Need some little correction in the angle like this. Okay, it happens because of this, you know, not perfect cut here like this. So, okay, do this, then we are done. So, let's make a cut here and delete this unwanted part. Select only this, then cut the faces. Sorry, remove the faces. Okay, uh, if we can find a way to, you know, join them, it will be much better. So for that, I'm gonna go to this right view. Then, see, this is the way. So I'm gonna cut it like this. Delete it. Okay, now. Let's stop this works and go to perspective. Okay, it almost works. Okay, okay, okay. I think this here will be fine. Okay, I think I need to go to this top view. Okay, select this part then using uh, middle mouse button. I I can move. What I mean by moving using middle mouse is just click and just click and hold. Okay, then you can move move them like this. Then select these two. Okay, combine them. Okay, you have to be careful when combining. Okay, combining them more. You know, the, like uh, merging them. Okay, you need to be careful. Okay, this one doesn't this one has to go upwards a little bit okay. like this yeah okay now we are good okay i think there is a difference in value in here 